Live, local from WPTV, this is Today on 5 at 11. Local coverage you can count on. I'm having all the fun over here. I am with one of our favorite people here on Today on 5 at 11, Somalia Stephanie Miskew. So glad to see you. We always know it's going to be a great <laughs> segment when you're here. Uh, you also, I have to mention, you brought along Lindsay Autry. She's going to be, of well, both of you were giving us a two for one. Yes. Can't beat that. So first, let's get to the drinks. What should we be making with our Easter dinner or maybe you're even covering brunch? We, you can use these wines with anything. Okay. Basically, and we want these wines right now anyway, crisp, fresh, fruity. Gotcha. Wines with a bright acidity pair well with a variety of foods. And so I'm looking those at the, the glasses, your light color. Yes, yeah. absolutely. We have reds too, and those are the wines we have here today. They're fruity, they're bright, but they have a great acidity and they pair well okay. with a so lot of So in terms foods. of what type of flavors mm -hmm. do they pair well with? Pretty much anything, like the rosé will pair very well with ham, and then you have the red wines for lamb and then the the white wines will pair well with you know the spring flavors of dill and um, that Lindsay's going to oh, yeah. show you us have a all of bit. the bases covered. Yeah. Um, in terms of regions, where are we focusing today? Absolutely. Today we have fabulous wines from South Africa. The Baden Horst family is making beautiful wines from South Africa. Yes. The Secateurs is a lovely line. We have wines from Oregon's Willamette Valley. There's Great wines, but still sure. great values coming from there. We have the Pinot Gris and Pinot Noir. And from the south of France, the Rhone Valley, we have a beautiful Cote de Rhone Blanc and a Cote de Rhone Rouge. And they're all just great choices, yeah. and they're all under $25. I've got to tell you, I went to South Africa a couple of years ago. Oh. They have some of the best wines they do. In, in the world. And they're finally making it here. Now, <laughs> I want to talk a price range real quickly. Sure. What are we starting at? We're starting at basically the Chenin Blanc is 12, so okay. we're ranging from that to 22 for the Cote de Rhone Blanc and the Pinot Noir. So they're all in that range gotcha. and all under 25. And we have that information on our screen. So our yes. viewers, you're really getting a chance to see how um, kind of reasonable, you know, it just depends yeah. on what's in your price range, but I think you can make a lot of things work. Uh, screw caps, we want to yes. talk about that before you leave Of us. course, screw caps, this is the time of year to embrace the screw cap. I'm ah. a big fan of wines that have screw caps. They're fresh, they're bright, they're meant to be drank now. So go for it, embrace those wines with the screw cap closures. Most of ours have that today. All right, we love it. Stephanie, don't go anywhere. We're, of course, going to be with you shortly, and we're going to talk food and wine yes. and your big Easter celebration. We'll be back in just a second. First, though, we want to send it over to Glenn and Chris. Hey, guys, I'm going to drink up. You get to it. <laughs> yeah, a little fun. It's over there. Yes. Also, Stephanie is back to show us how the food pairs with the wine. So let's just say we've got you covered on all fronts. All right, it is time now for, I know it's my favorite part of Easter, and it's the food, so yeah. let's get well, to it. That's a pretty big <laughs> part. Chef yeah. Lindsay Autry, who many of you have seen on Bravo's Top Chef, is here once again, her second time around, to show us an easy dinner, what we can put together, and you have quite the spread right here. It yeah. smells good. So um, we're going to make an orzo risotto, oh. so a style of risotto, but it's a little less demanding sure. than rice risotto is. Orzo, um, for our folks who aren't familiar with it, it's a grain, right? Um, it's actually a pasta. A pasta? Yeah. So it's the little pasta, and what we've done is we've toasted it in a pan um, until it's got nice and golden like this. Oh, great. And then you add um, about three times as much. So we've done a pound of pasta, and we've added um, six cups oh. of liquid. Now you can either do water or vegetable stock. And then if you're doing a whole ham, this is a great side dish for it. Oh, that looks so good. If you're not, and don't stress if, if you don't want to make a whole ham, because I sure don't. I understand. Um, so what I've done is we've got like about a pound of just some great ham that I've cut oh, up. Oh, what a great way to incorporate it and still get that meat, that protein in there too. Yeah, so after you toast the risotto and add in the liquid, um, you just want it to all absorb and so it'll look like this. But all the starch from the pasta will give that look like a risotto does. Can I just say, I tell you not, we always say on the program how good the food smells and how good it looks, but this smells so, it's it the smells limit. like Easter. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's the Absolutely limit. Love it. How long does this take to, to prepare? Start to finish, food? about 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, so the pasta cooks up in about, it takes about five to toast and then 10 to cook. And then we're just going to add in, um, you can add any vegetables oh, you want, okay. and this can also be vegetarian mm -hmm. if you leave the ham out. Okay. So we're adding some fresh peas, because these are in season. I've also got some sugar snaps that we cut the long oh, way yum. that make them look a lot Without prettier. Without a doubt, this is a one-pot meal. It really is. If for it to be, or it could be a side, whatever. Exactly. And it's great, too, like I said, if you're serving ham and you've got some vegetarians or vegans, then you can easily leave the ham out and make it with vegetable stock. All right, you keep stirring. Steph, let's bring you back in. Sure. We're talking about wine. 
wines that would pair with something like this. Absolutely. If you wanted to do it vegetarian and leave the ham out, I love our Chenin Blanc. Actually, any of the white wines. We have the Chenin Blanc, Pinot Gris, sure. or uh, Cotteron Blanc. If you add the ham, I love a rosé. Oh, a rosé so is a great choice. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, so after we've added the vegetables, I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of dill. And a squeeze of lemon, which I added, and that's it. It's really easy. Right. Oh my goodness. There we go. And with the ham, I know a lot of people are going to be preparing that for this weekend. Any tips in terms of preparation, maybe like a day mm, in advance a or one. anything like that, timing? Yeah, I definitely would, you know, do it that, a day in advance. That doesn't take 20 minutes. <laughs> no, that's no, it doesn't. Minute deal. And then I would <laughs> warm it up the next day so you can have a glass of any of this great wine <laughs> yeah. and not stress yeah. it out. Yeah. Do you yeah. tint your ham? Um, I do. Um, once it gets the color that I want. What? So okay. once you get that golden then. color, then cover it with your I with some foil. That. I love so it that. Finishes I have a feeling if you make this meal at home, your guests probably aren't going to leave. So just <laughs> fair warning there. Fair uh, warning. They'll, they'll be hanging out a little bit longer maybe than Sunday. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you guys so, we, uh, so much for coming in. It's absolutely. Awesome. We want to remind you that the recipe for Orzo rice is online right now. Go check it out and get to the grocery store. It's on WPTV.com. Glenn, I always say this, but I really do mean it. We will save you some. <laughs> Just, I don't need a lot. Just save me like a little tiny bit anyway. All right, let me show you what's going on here. As we take a quick look, we're going to zip back.